All right, hello everyone, welcome back to Lightning Run, where we play games that are apparently not as described like this one. Welcome to A Long Way Down. It uh, claims to be, well, a deck building roguelite RPG. Apparently it's not roguelite at all now, yet. It's in early access, so whatever. I really don't care about the lore, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> but... Apparently there's no permadeath, which is a staple of a roguelite. Nobody got this username, hello. Um, escape the dungeon. Okay, yeah. Don't know why there's a whole box here. Extremely strange. No, I don't care. <laughs> okay, so we move like this. Yeah, you click the squares. And then you come here, we pick up some slabs so we can build a bridge. Don't know what's up with that. It's a little weird. Like, why can't this just be complete and I don't have these slab things? I don't know. Anyways. Combat. Hello, busted knuckles. My guy. So here's the actual combat in the game. We have cards, because it's a deck builder. And, uh, swiftly deals 20 damage for the target. Increases target's attack. That's a buff for us. Increases target's defense. Increases target's attack again. And then poke. And this is in a weird basic skill pile where this is all we get. Like, if we play poke, we just get another one. I guess forever? I don't know how it works. Like, my card count doesn't go down. That's under the camera, but... Also, use thrust. There we go. And we get three... mana. <laughs> Blue, hello as well. Uh, let's see. So we can buff our attack. We can... Heal. That'll be for 25, which is overkill. Can I buff my attack again? 50%. There we go. So now this will do 15 damage. Let's go. We get new cards. Oh, or two thrusts, and you will die. It's just that easy. Blue, thank you for the host as well. Let's go. Rewards. We get blessed attack, which is just a new card. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why this movement exists. Like, you know, there's paths over here. You don't really want to go there because there's no reason to. We get three movements per turn. If you, like, if you look at the yellow circles, they're going down. And then our turn ends. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think enemies move. So I don't know why that exists. We can place a slab here. Sure. And then we can get to the card changer switcher thing. And also equipment changer. <laughs> we can put our new blessed attack in our deck over here. Ta -da. We can only have 15 cards, which is so weird. For a deck builder. Because there's not much to build. With 15 cards. And then some basic attacks that you always get. All right, so we can't go left. It's blocked. We can go this way, place a slab, go up. And there's a guy. What do you got? We lost two in deep lore. Helmet of the Ram. Okay, so we get RPG equipment because it also claims to be an RPG. And I don't think I can put it on. You also get him as a character. Uh, Dungeon Master, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So now we're in combat. Okay, so now we have two guys. I don't know how this works. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Help would be appreciated. Okay, so we're... Oh. We can switch between them. I imagine... Oh, now we have four mana. They probably share mana. So let's see. We can probably use increases target's attack on you. They do share mana. And then you have a thrust. There you go. And a heavy blow. And this guy, this guy has so little health. <laughs> What's he gonna do? 37? Okay, um, 
Yeah, all right, you have 74 health. We can do 25, 20, we can do 50. We might just kill you. Oh, well, this costs two mana. You see, that's the thing. We can't kill you unless you have an attack that does more damage. Oh, wait, do you share the middle pile? Hang on, don't kill him yet. Buff real quick. Right, and we have four mana, so do it again. <laughs> I think we could have killed him, actually. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, you do share the, the central cards, and then your basic attacks are different. That's weird. And this is more damage because he's... He has better equipment, I think. Because this guy has more... More of a power buff. But he still does less damage. Also, you're dead. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, we get... Another helmet and some powder. Which I believe is used to craft cards. And... Oh, well, we can only go over here. Ah, increase the quality of cards, so that'll upgrade it. <laughs> so it does 26 damage. Okay. And need more powder for everything else. We can't upgrade these, which is weird. Workshop. Yep, you can upgrade your cards. Got it. <laughs> so I can't put on things, or er, items, right? No, I think we need to find one of those armories. Or just go back to this one. Oh, you know what? Hang out. We're supposed to go this way, but I'm just gonna come back here and say, "Hey, I want to put on my helmet." He already has a helmet, and you can put on your. Oh, this is also a helmet, right? So five percent armor, or five percent a bunch of things. Like, what do what do those mean? Not entirely sure because they're just pictures and I can't go mouse over it, so that's... That's a little weird. <laughs> I don't know, we get 10, 10 health, 5% armor, and then 5% damage, and... What is that thing on the top? I have no idea. <laughs> but that's okay. Let's go back over here, place the slab. Come on. Mm-hmm. Can I just put one like- no, it won't let me because of the tutorial, but... <laughs> Come over here and we get... More slabs! Why? Who knows? Remove all walls around a slab. So what, we can go this way? Is what we're meant to do? And we can just go around, but... Whatever. <laughs> and then... This here as well? Why would I do that when I can just do this? Oh, because there's walls on this side, too. Okay, gotcha. Oh. Dude just took my slab and placed it somewhere random. Okay. We get more. <laughs> a bunch of different shapes. Um. I, I think. They're not in my inventory. Okay. Look over here. Take this one. See, this is where the turn thing comes in, because now he's just taking my slabs. Because we ran out, or our turn ended. Uh, okay. We got these slabs this time. Don't know what happened to the other ones. I wish it would show you, like, you can see... This one has a wall. It doesn't show it in the little preview, so there's going to be a wall on the... the right-ish side. <laughs> yeah. I've never been to Africa. Yeah, okay. Deep lore. I don't know why I put that there either, because we probably want to go here. <laughs> You're going to toss that somewhere, sure. And the enemy went to us. Okay. 80 health should be extremely easy. Okay, you went first to, probably because he walked onto us instead of the other way around. You're just going to... Like, if this is 24, you're just dead. Yeah. <laughs> Super easy. We get another helmet and some powder. And 50... 
something for standing on that. Okay, we can put down some slabs here and get to the exit. You're gonna throw that down? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatsoever. And... Escape the dungeon. We get a magical scepter, which does more damage and more damage with wind spells. I'll cry. Oh, Marcus is, uh... He's very gone? <laughs> like, I don't care. Um... I think? Okay, now we're on the first real floor. Please stop talking to me. Northern Island. This small island is the hub. You end up here. Before you go to a new dungeon enclosure. Blah, blah, blah. Green slime will make you leave the island and will launch you into the dungeon. The breach is revisit past levels, which probably doesn't work on the tutorial, and the trunk is our... this thing. We probably want to equip uh, the scepter, because the pointed stick is just useless. And... We can upgrade as well, except we have no powder. <laughs> oh, there we go, now we, we can do all our cards. We can recycle cards for powder. We can clone cards using more powder. <laughs> and we can create cards. Um, somehow, I guess, just with another card and then you just combine it with powder and then it turns into another card? Just guessing. We can upgrade our equipment. Except it still says you can increase the quality of your cards. Hmm. Little iffy. Convert your unused cards. Cloning a card. Unused cards. Yeah. So that's not great. <laughs> that, you know. They didn't change that. <clears throat> Let's go to the dungeon. Alright. Kill this monster. Mini Paros. You got it. We get our slabs. Find new slabs over here, so let's head over. Just kidding, this is a combat. Okay. <laughs> it looked just like the place where we picked up slabs before. Um it's a little weird. Okay, this is a wind spell, so it does more damage because of our our staff now. We're also just whacking with our staff, which is a little weird. Uh, and also we have three mana again. Banishment. Removes all targets' blessings. Probably doesn't have any blessings. Okay, 14 health. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I read in the reviews for this as well, you're dead, that the other guy we had, he only exists in the tutorial. So, they claim there's three characters really two if you play the game past the tutorial. <laughs> so we'll just find another one at some point, I guess. Um, yeah. So I guess we don't pick up slabs there, or we do? I don't know. There's a treasure over there, but we need to place the right slabs down. I think this works? Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have moved yet, because now he's going to toss one of my slabs down. Okay, what is this thing? Trap. Hurts anyone who moves through it. There you go. Okay, I kind of like this. I kind of just don't... <laughs> don't like it. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fine. This trap will hurt that dude, so he's going to start with 30 less health. Which should mean we can just kill him in one turn. So, let's see, 25, 19, 20, 20, you'll, you'll be almost there. You could buff and attack once, you know, heal, just in case of, of destruction. <laughs> and you will die now. Goodbye. Combat's a little easy on the, the trash mobs. You know, just the random enemy, enemies, enemies. <laughs> 
Rest and recover at this warm campfire. Not necessary. Go this way and then step on this. Right, this is another uh, equipment thing. Increases target's defense. What is a spell? Oh, <laughs> probably got to go over here. Uh, sure. Take one. Take two. Don't see why not. And let's see. There's our mini boss, or our actual boss. I don't know. Portal just allows us to leave, which I don't really want to do. Uh, let's go this way. What walls is he talking about? I don't recognize the writing on the walls. Oh, this, this wall. Floor. Floor doesn't exist, dude. Alright. 100 health. So you have no buffs. We can decrease your defense. I don't know if you have any defense to begin with, but... Whatever. You know, I'll increase my attack too. I should have done that before, but... You know. Oh, and we get minus strength as well from something that I probably wasn't paying attention to. Alright, and... The thrust. There's another thrust. Nine health. Could have killed him. If I had done the math, and... Die, please. Okay, now I want to see... No, I don't know what that card was in the top right. But... We can figure that out. Remove a slab from the board. I could cut off my connection, but there's no enemies back here, so that would be pointless. Don't want to don't want to wall off the chest. Hang on. <laughs> Find the right type. Uh, this one will work. Where's our mini boss? Wasn't he right here? Uh, okay. We'll see. Chest. You have feather feet. Free boots, dude. That I can't equip because we need to get to an armory. Oh, there he is. He was on the chest and I didn't see him. But that explains why... Okay, all the enemies have diamonds. This also has a diamond. Which means there's an enemy there, but... It looks like those caches of slabs from earlier. <laughs> um... Okay, is that a wall? I think so. We can destroy it just fine. I'll do that, do that. Hello. Probably should have trapped him first. But that's alright. 250 health. Okay, I'm a little low. <laughs> Let's increase our defense. You don't have any blessings. Is, it, is this what you're gonna use? Maybe? Hang on. Thrust. Another thrust, because why not? Are you gonna use Starfall? I believe so. We'll see if he increases his, de his defense. In a second. Um, hmm. Slash is just a ton of damage. We can restore 3% health and remove our curses, which we don't have. Um, he has no blessings. That'll be good if he does increase his defense, because that'll just get removed, I'm pretty sure. Let's just slash him. Okay, that is the card he's going to play. I don't know why that's more obvious. Because uh, it's really hidden up there, and I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. And let's use a thrust and a blessed attack. There you go, 59 health. More damage. Hidden again. Oh, this is a drain, so it's probably a heal him and take it away from me type of deal. Um, 59 health, and I only have basic attacks. Could get lucky. Here we go. <laughs> 17, 16. 16. Wow! You claim it's, uh, you know, 14 to 28, and I hit the lowest possible. Hey, there's 21. It's really weighted towards the bottom half. <laughs> Alright, new stuff. Another new spell. New sword, which will do... Is that crit damage? I don't know. There's two swords on the little stats thing. 10% shiny sword, 
normal sword. Gonna assume it's crits. I don't know how we can actually tell what those things mean. <laughs> and now we have a recipe for shield bash. So we can continue this level and go to the next level. And this will just be a new new dungeon. Or new chamber. Okay, and we get to uh, do this again so we can equip our new sword. I don't know if I want to. I'm I'm assuming oh, there we go. Critical chance. <laughs> Shows us right here. Critical bonus is the X thing, so bonus damage on a crit. Sure. And then move is the the foot or the winged boots. Um why can't I just look at it from here? <laughs> like once you know them, you kinda know them, but still. A little weird that I can't just see critical attack next to the little picture or mouse over it because it goes away even if you click on it uh anyways I don't think we have to see that well let's see the next dungeon just to see what it looks like okay it looked like there was height to this place for a second but no things were just falling into place <laughs> and we get more slabs and well you'll see there's only six of those six floors so far, anyways. Which is not a lot, because it's pretty easy. And, uh, I, I don't know. Hang on. Let's go here. What do I think of it? It's not... It's not good enough. <laughs> I don't want to say that, but it's not... It, one, it's not a roguelite, according to these reviews. If you die, you only lose progress on your current level. And you don't need to start from the beginning. So that's not what a roguelike is. A roguelite, whatever they want to call it. Um, there's only six floors and you beat the game. It's $18. Well, it's $17.99, right? For an early access game that is unfinished and... Who knows if it will be finished, <laughs> is always the thing with the early access games. Um, claims it's inspired by Darkest Dungeon Slay the Spire Hand of Fate. I guess the movement mechanic is Darkest Dungeon, I guess. Uh, Slay the Spire, obviously cards and Hand of Fate the same thing. But combat's really easy. You, there's no really, there's no punishment for dying, because <laughs> I think all your cards get turned into powder or something, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, and your weapon is worth way more than your cards for a card game, because if you get a good weapon, your cards do more damage instead of just getting a new card that does more damage and has effects and stuff. So, it's not really a card game, because the cards don't really matter. So it's just an RPG with cards that's not a roguelite. So it's it's not what they want it to, it's not what they say it is. Uh, that's about it. 